Hallo Bine. So what now? Hey, so, welcome to Matt's video. Yes. I have an elastic in my mouth. Welcome back. We have an exciting little experiment today because I'm going to be taking my dressage stallion Etro and I'm going to be giving him a um, hunter jumper makeover. It's already in the process, some things have already happened. <laughs> but I thought for one day it would be fun to uh, throw a jumping saddle on him go in our arena at home and do some jumps here and see how he goes. Now, I've done this already with Emporio. I mean, not really the hunter jumper thing, but just trying to jump him. Didn't go well. And really, the PRE breed, which is a Spanish breed, is not good at jumping at all. They're very heavy sets. They have, like, way too much going on with their legs. But we're going to be giving it a try anyway. When I, bought, when I first bought Etro, I thought straight away, okay, this is... He looks like such a hunter jumper because he's got this... He's got a really, like, heavy body. He, like, a little bit of this body. fat like a little bit of like a fat look. Um, he's got a really small, pretty head. He's a really pretty color. Oy. Oh no. Oh no, he's put all over his tail and I just washed it. Oh. Here he is, my Hello. hunter jumper. Oh. Is he good on different locations? Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay, so I actually tried to give him a wash and, and fully prep him. Okay, good boy, easy. So look, I've got like those like hunter jumper. You know how they section the hair? Oh, you went all out. I went That's all out. That's why it was taking so long. Yeah, and then I've got my hunter jumper boots that are from the US that I bought in Wellington. Have down there, yes sir. Look. Okay. See? And then I mean I tried you to always have it when I met you in Australia. Everything oh. was always on point. I know. It's changed a little now because I have like more horses, so it, it's really difficult to like, but Chase was always like this. He was always like pristine. We're very alert, which I'm not sure how that's gonna go for the jumping, um, but I've got some of Chase's jumping stuff here, which uh, he's gonna be borrowing from his brother today. So we're gonna put like the five point breastplate on. Uh, I've got jumping saddle, jumping girth. I hope he doesn't react to the jumping girth because it's much wider. And then I've got the <laughs> jumping bridle. Next minute, video, rodeo. I know, so we're gonna have to see how that goes. But I think everything should fit because he's very round as well, just like Chase is. Um, so everything I think should uh, should fit him fine. And then we're gonna go into the arena and have a couple of jumps and see how he goes. We've already set up a little course down there, so we're gonna show you in a second. But first things first. I'm the realist. We're gonna have to get him ready. Well, I will definitely put some sheepskin under. I think he's gonna need something. <gasps> oh, he's got he's already looking like a like a hunter jumper. Tell me that doesn't look like a hunter jumper. Don't, do you see it? I've never seen one in real. Oh, okay. Well, I was over there. They look like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys know it's it's always a tragedy when I jump. I hardly have like any clue what's going on. So today we're gonna try and be as fair to him as possible. Um, yes, it's gonna be helping as well. Yes, it was the show jumper, but. <sighs> I was just telling him today when we were setting up the course, he seems to, from like 10 years of jumping, he seems to have retained like zero knowledge, wow. which is quite concerning. It's like you've erased that whole side of your life. I don't do well with theory. I just do it on feeling. No, I get that, but that becomes quite difficult when you've got to try and help me. Okay, he's on. I actually was quite scared that... I feel like when I'm going to get on him, he's going to really round the backs. You know how they do that sometimes when they're not used to something so large? Underneath. Okay, yeah, so he looks good. He looks beautiful. You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user-friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash madharnicky. In doing so, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, I'm ready. I think I'm gonna already get on here. I just have to go a little bit more up. These bloody elasticated girths, there's like, no. Serves look pretty uneven. Really? Oh. This one looks shorter, right? Mm, well maybe first get on and see. I mean, they're both on five, so. 
It's just that the stirrups are so short now. Can you his leg up? No, no, it's fine. I can do it like this. No. Oh. I always think show jumping gear is so much more comfortable. Oh my God. Oh my God, this feels so strange. It looks very good. Have fun okay, I think this girth is like quite loose. Luckily we're not jumping 150 or something. Oh boy. Yet. All right, this is so weird. Also like because of the mane and stuff. Right, let's walk him down. There's no bucking yet, that's good. No, the back is not too round, but I think he's busy like thinking of other stuff. Oh boy. He's very um, energetic. Good, we need that. So we will definitely have some power, I think. The course you can uh, give credit to Yesa, because he's the one that kind of like set them out and stuff. I love how he's already spooking at the sprinkler, so that's <laughs> that's gonna be something compared to like the jumps. Good boy. But you have done some pulls with him, no? Yeah, I've done like some trot pulls already with him, and in the beginning it was a little bit of like a scary situation, but then he got over it. Like it just took him a couple of goes, and then he realized. So maybe I just like warm him up and start riding him between everything, and then. These cavalettis that we have can be turned up so that they're a little bit higher, but I'm going to start with them just flat as uh, poles. And I think I'm going to do, um, we're going to put all the jumps down and have those also just down as poles. So when I'm warming up, I'm just going to kind of trot over them, canter over them, and I'm just going to include them in my warm up rather than make them like a thing. And what is the thing about the hunter that's different than jumping? Well, that you want to focus on. No, okay, I'm not, I'm not actually going to try and jump like a hunter. I can't even jump like a normal jumping person. So I think, I think it's more like we have the look of the hunters. And I mean, with the hunters, it's all about like how like uh, pretty and peaceful it looks. You get judged depending on the classes, like equitation classes. But at least what I wanted to do was like a nice turnout, which I think we have. I haven't plaited the tail, but or like put a, a, a false tail in. But that's for another day. <laughs> That would be so fun if we had if we if we had hunter classes here in Europe. I would absolutely do it. Like it just looks like so much fun. Um, I wonder if they have them in the Netherlands, actually. No, I don't think so. We Maybe like start. a couple of unofficial shows that do like small things, but there's nothing official over here for it. I'm gonna give them just like a couple of minutes more of walk, just walking in between everything. Then I'm gonna walk over a couple of poles, and then we'll get trotting and cantering. Cantering. Okay, let's just walk over them. I'm let's sure maybe that's start gonna with be the one already. Oh lord. Why don't you just start with the one? Huh? Just start with the one instead of the two. No. But sometimes that's what I at least with my horses, I'm never like, okay, let's I, it's just easier to like put them in front of something and say, okay, do it, just figure it out. Because the more you make one like a problem or something, then it's it becomes an issue for no reason. Good boy. Okay, could be a little bit more careful. Well, that's the first pull you ever did with some space of the ground. Huh? That's the first pull you did that wasn't touching the ground. Oh my goodness, first jump. <laughs> well done. Do you mind putting the crosses down, yes sir? Yeah! Yeah, boy! No, he's very cute, he's really trying. Oh, good. So far, we're just walking and looking and getting comfortable over everything. Good boy. Yeah. Cute. This feels almost like team building, like work. Cute. When you bring your like dressage horse to do this kind of like stuff that makes them a little bit scared. I'm like, you're gonna trust me more out of this. Well, at least this looks good already. Huh? How is it in the gear? It feels pretty, it really reminds me of actually of Chase now, like riding like this. Like in the, in the saddle and in his gear. But it feels pretty good. I always think like just, I don't know why, I've always thought this and I know you think it too, just like jumping saddles sit better on them. If you go over one inch rod, just make sure to first do the one. Yeah. Because I need to make sure the other ones are on the right. 
Are you scared? No, but I mean like if the distance is completely off. Good boy. He's still kind of like wary of it all. He's still not fully, fully trusting it. Right, we're gonna go just over this one. It's happening. <gasps> you be. <laughs> <Woo. Woo. laughs> With these tiny front legs. Aww. Little two poles. Good boy. He doesn't seem to doubt at all, really. I mean, it's just a pole, yes. What do you mean, doubt? <laughs> I think if we if we had him already refusing at one like trot pole, I'm not sure today would be the day to be able to actually jump. <laughs> it would make sense if you never do it. Right. Okay, the distance is not great, but it's fine. He just has to figure it out. Oh my gosh, he's like a real show jump, but he was already looking at the next jump from there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, no. <Nope. laughs> not the most sensitive yet, but maybe he just has to like knock a couple just to realize that they're not moving and that he needs to pick Aww. up his feet. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yo. Hey. Okay, I don't think he's the most careful. <laughs> he's not jumping over it like a meter or something. It doesn't I'm work like that. In front. I'm just saying. Oh. Okay, figure it oh. out. Okay. Well, maybe it's nice to let him figure it out by steps. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Good. Do whatever he wants, of course. <laughs> Good boy. That was good. There was a bit of a something there. <laughs> he was like, I have some more muscles. Should I now lay underneath this jump for an extra effect? Oh, eight, three, whoa. Oh. Ooh. Good boy. Ooh. I think we can start putting the like yellow one a little bit sideways, making some small crosses. Because he feels pretty good. Um, and then we can go from there. He gave me a pretty good little little hop over this, so I feel some potential now. There we go. Oh, hey. good boy, easy. <laughs> He's he like, oh, really it made a sound after. after. Huh? He's like, oh, it made a sound after. Okay, let's try this cross. Maybe I should try and get him to like. Good boy. Oh, it's like Nico. <laughs> Good boy. He was, <laughs> he was thinking about it. He's like, I think I'm not gonna, not gonna jump this one. Easy. Um, I was just saying. I think maybe I should try and get him to like canter out of it. Is that not what like you're supposed to do? Good boy! Good boy! Ooh. Easy. Easy. Let's trot him up to this one. Woohoo! There you go. Finding your stride. No. Yeah. Woohoo! So cute his front legs. Oh. 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 Yeah. Hey. <laughs> he was Getting feeling there. so confident going into it and then he was like, bye. Good boy. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, this United Canter. Okay, bring it back. Bring it back. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just gonna put my leg on. Good boy. 
Easy. All right, I'm seeing some progress. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's come back. I'm gonna do the blue one now, the blue Cavaletti. Easy. Okay, it's <laughs> not the best. Good boy, but he went over it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> e. Do you mind if we just put the crosses up a little bit now? I want to see if he's the kind of horse that like picks his feet up better when it's higher. A little bit of a of a tap. I think he's finding the crosses easier. Whoa! Ooh. Easy. Okay, make it the money shot, yeah? yeah. This is it, Etro. The last jump of the Kentucky whatever from the US. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Get a little bit disunited. Easy. Well done. Well done. Good boy. I think that'll do him for today. But he's also improved a lot together with you, like now you both are, have. Yeah, I feel like he's going from strength to strength now and he's starting to trust me a lot more. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's no lip action going on. There is still some days where it happens a little bit, but as you can remember from the beginning, it was happening all the time. And now it's hardly happening. So it has improved a lot. And I feel like you sit very quietly on him also. And he's so light, like I hardly have anything in my hand. Good boy. Is this short jumping life for you? Easy. Well done. I actually got a lot of messages the other day when I posted a story of him, of people thinking it was like a draft horse. Mm. I think you actually said something as well. Or you replied to it like chunky or something like that. But I got a lot of people saying like, he looks like a Belgian draft. He looks like this kind of draft. Well done. Okay, well that concludes today uh, trying to be a hunter jumper or converting my dressage stallion to be a hunter jumper. It was a lot of fun. I think I'm actually gonna leave the jumps up and maybe at the end of this week, I'm gonna come home and do one more little like round. I think it's fun for him to do something different. Um, but yeah, I'm glad he liked it. Maybe we'll be doing a little bit more. There's also like, we have neighbors down there with like jumps set up in like a beautiful big field. And they already told us that we could go and ride over there. So maybe that's gonna be um, somewhere down the line. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.